Welcome to the Hammond Power Solutions introduction. Founded in 1917, Hammond Power Solutions has been proudly serving the North American market for over 100 years. Electric vehicle use is growing in North America. Over 1 million electric vehicles have been sold in the U.S. since 2010. Currently, over 50,000 electrical vehicles are sold each month. Over one of every 200 cars in the U.S. is currently an electric vehicle, and one of every 50 cars in California is an electric vehicle. As of 2020, over half of all electric vehicles sold are in California. There are approximately 25,000 public charging stations currently in service as of 2020. This is up from 15,000 in 2017, and tens of thousands of additional chargers will be needed in the coming years to keep up with demand. Of the total chargers in the U.S., over half are currently in California, and 15% of those are Level 3 fast chargers. All of these additional electric vehicle chargers can cause large problems with the electrical grid, including the transformers which supply electricity. As an example, if just 60,000 next generation electric vehicles were to simultaneously charge, this extra electrical load could threaten the Texas electrical grid, said the analyst from GTM's parent company, Wood McKenzie. Based on a 100 kilowatt electric vehicle battery with a five minute charge time, demand from 60,000 cars charging at once would equate to 70 gigawatts. Currently, this type of fast five minute charging is not available but it could potentially be standard for electric vehicles in the mid-2020s. The bad news is demand and threats to the power grid are real. The good news is that there are several years to adapt the grid to this new demand. The proper selection of transformers is crucial in dealing with this threat. The demand for more public electric vehicle charging sites will only increase in the future. As an example, the state of California wants more than 4.2 million electric vehicles by 2030 as proposed in a new plan charts, The Road Ahead. The goal is to reduce overall carbon emissions and vehicle electrification is key to driving these emissions down. The state of California has aggressive electric vehicle targets aiming to have 1.5 million EVs on the road by 2025 and more than 4.2 million EVs deployed by 2030. This provides many opportunities for EV charging station installations. As you look at this chart from power quality of smart grids with plug-in electric vehicles, considering battery charging profiles, it's apparent that the more EV chargers, the worse the power quality. The faster the charger and the faster the vehicle accepts the charge, the worse the power quality. Finally, as the battery charge gets closer to 100%, the load decreases as the charge cycle slows down, but the overall total harmonic distortion of the remaining load increases. The charging time per mile of charge also increases. Given the current trend of more electric vehicles with faster charging times and more level 3 chargers, there will be increasing power quality problems from electric vehicles in the future. Let's now talk about the conclusion of the technical paper Smart Grids with Plug-in Electric Vehicles Considering Battery Charging Profile Paper from the chart we just looked at. With low EV penetration levels, normal EV charging rates, which means level 1 and 2 chargers, irrespective of time zone, their simulation results actually show acceptably low harmonic levels and voltage deviations with the least amount of losses. Keep in mind this is with low EV penetration, which is where much of North America is currently at. If we add quick charging rates from level 3 chargers, they will cause significant voltage harmonics and losses, as well as transformer overloading if the charging is concentrated at peak times. This is becoming a much larger issue as more and more level 3 fast charging stations with very high power loads are installed. For high electric vehicle penetrations, which is where North America is heading right now, EVs will cause unacceptable and severe voltage harmonics, deviations, power losses, and transformer overloading. While the high voltage systems may be able to cope with the extra EV charging load, 
it is clear that the low voltage infrastructure will be significantly stressed and affect the reliability of network assets, including transformers. This is why it is very important to understand the long term issues and specify the proper transformers for these EV installations. In another study, the impact of electric vehicles on voltage profile and harmonics in a distribution network, simulations were done at electric vehicle loads of 45%, 65%, and 95% with multiple charging points. Current total harmonic distortion of up to 17.4% was calculated. 17.4% is well above the established limits of 8% total harmonic distortion current, established by the IEEE 519 2014 standard. Voltage total harmonic distortion was also calculated as high as 14.2%, which was also well above IEEE 519 levels. It was the findings of the study that, thus, it could be readily established that EVs could significantly contaminate the distribution system with high amounts of harmonic injection. Let's talk about groaning concerns. There is some concern that vehicle onboard chargers may have problems if fed with a 240 volt phase to phase system without a true neutral. In this example, a single phase transformer to the right of the delta system is placed between the three phase delta source and the charger. The single phase secondary is grounded to avoid charger problems. In order to understand the demand of a transformer, we need to understand the demand from the chargers. Level 1 and Level 2 chargers are the lowest cost and most common chargers. Both use the vehicle's onboard charger to do the actual DC rectification. Level 1 and 2 chargers are single phase, typically provide 2 to 11 miles of range per hour, have a low installation cost, and usually need between 1 and 8 kVA of load per charging point. Three-phase transformers often need to be specified when large numbers of these chargers are installed, typically in parking lots and for fleet vehicles. Large numbers of charging points may be fed from a medium voltage source, and as we discussed earlier, can cause significant power quality problems. Level 3 chargers are essentially large DC power supplies and can supply significantly more power than a vehicle's onboard charger can. Level 3 chargers are usually supplied with 480 volt three phase sources. Often the installations are supplied directly with medium voltage power from the utility, which needs to be reduced to 480 volts. Level 3 chargers can supply 50 to 100 miles or more of travel per hour of charge, but are large and costly to install. In the future, level 4 chargers will be able to supply 170 or more miles of travel per hour of charge. One level three or level four charger can have as much electrical demand as dozens of level one and two chargers, typically between 200 and 500 kVA per charging point. Level three and level four chargers can cause significant power quality and current surge issues when installed. The combined impact of multiple level one and level two charging points or just one level three charger causes harmonic distortion levels which can significantly impact a transformer's losses, temperature rise, and mean time between failure. The harmonic current of EV chargers is difficult to calculate. It varies with factors such as the initial battery state and the vehicle's charging profile. What is absolutely known is EV chargers will cause power quality problems. Single phase and auto transformers should be derated for this additional harmonic heating. Three phase transformers should be specified at a K equals four minimum for harmonic concerns. In reality, the lack of a balanced load across the three phases with levels one and two chargers can cause additional problems and a K factor of nine is preferred. A K factor of nine is also preferred with level three chargers. The best solution, especially for meeting IEEE 519 for large numbers of level one and two chargers or two or more level three chargers is using harmonic mitigating transformers to actually cancel the harmonic currents. Another issue is ambient temperature, especially in outdoor installations in southern North America. If the average 24-hour temperature commonly exceeds 30 degrees Celsius, lower temperaturized transformers at 130 or 115 degrees Celsius should be specified. There are access and environmental concerns when installing transformers with EV chargers, especially in exterior locations. 
Avoid installing ventilated units in areas accessible to the general public. Use non-ventilated, ventilation baffles, tamper-resistant hardware, hinged locked doors, and other methods to limit access to energized parts. Preferably, install the transformer in a secure area. Bollards should protect the transformer from vehicle contact, even from vehicles as small as golf carts and bicycles. Additional concerns include, do not install the transformer below gutters, pipes, or other water sources, which can cause directed flows of water on the transformer. This would include areas which may have water irrigation, such as lawns. Protect the bottom ventilation points from collecting debris such as garbage or leaves that would limit airflow. Road silt and other factors can create corrosion. Stainless steel is an option and can be more aesthetically pleasing. Custom enclosure colors are also available. Hammond Power Solutions offers many product lines to support the electrical vehicle charging industry. The Fortress Encapsulated series offers isolated power for single to small groups of level 1 and 2 EV chargers. The Power Plus series is a mini power center which also offers isolated power for single to small groups of level 1 and 2 EV chargers with the added benefits of combining a main circuit breaker and a secondary power panel to offer built-in protection. The Titan Encapsulated series is a rugged industrial version which offers a standard type 4 enclosure and is suitable for marine and hazardous location environments. The Low Voltage Sentinel series is a distribution transformer which can power small groups of level 1 and 2 EV chargers and up to 3 or 4 level 3 chargers. The Sentinel series also offers K-rated and harmonic mitigating options to deal with the current and voltage harmonics associated with EV chargers. The HPS Millennium and Enduracoil series are flexible and rugged medium voltage transformers which can power large groups of level 1, 2, and 3 EV chargers. Thank you for completing this presentation. We hope you have found it informative.